Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all will help the channel grow, and they help with this out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we basically got a lot of our steel production sorted, and we're actually, actually maxing out the iron and the coal nodes that we've got access to uh, all the way over in that direction. You can see it on the map, and you can see our train heading around and going to try and pick it up. Uh, in fact, we could probably get rid of that map marker now. So, uh, what we were going to do, we needed to find out what we were going to enclose that with. So I've come to the awesome sink where we've got 70 tickets here. And we had 25, we had like 30 that we got out of the Christmas calendar. So we have 100 coupons to spend. I've never had that many coupons. I genuinely don't know what we're going to do with them all. But I wanted to have a look at the walls and see what, if there were any customizer. That's what I wanted. I wanted to see what customized, wall, customized walls we can get. So we've got the concrete wall. And the only other one we can get is the steel wall. Well, guess what? We're going to get the steel wall. Uh, we'll probably get the steel roof. What does the tar roof take to make concrete? Okay, the tar roof looks quite cool. We can have a look at the tar roof. Uh, we, I think basically we can just, you know, get everything. Even these paint icons. I have no idea what I'm going to use the paint icons for at the moment. But we can get them. Um the factory cart. The factory cart could be very, very cool, actually. So we'll get the factory cart. How many are we up to? 57. Adequate pioneering. I mean, we could get the pretty good pioneering statue right off the go. Um, a thousand tickets for the golden nut. Blimey. Don't need any of the equipment. Let's get some of the wall bundles. Get all of that picked up, get that missing foundation set, I don't want the clean pipeline so I'm not worried about that, we get the wall outlet there, what are we up to, 81, <laughs> oh dear oh dear, lights control panel, sure why not, not worried about the box skins, okay I think that's basically everything we could possibly ever need, sure we'll get the industrial walkways. And then I think we've actually unlocked all of the customization options. So, I mean, I can get the boom box. I'm not worried about the boom box. Yeah, I think it will be saving up for the pioneering statues next. Buy all. Oh, that felt weird. Okay. Purchases. No. Where do I get the factory cart then? Oh, I have to build the factory car. Oh, okay. With uh, truck station organization special. Where's the factory car? Got all those new bits. Organization. Yeah, we've got the light panel. Where's the factory cart? Awesome shop. Da, 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 grit wheels, father. Popular in your sector. Where is the factory cart? And have you got a ticket yet? So I can put the other. You have. So I can put the others back and safe in here. There we go. Really thought it would have been there under transport. Okay, we've got tons of windows, which is nice. We can change that to... Ah, oh, look at that, steel wall. Okay, alright, so we're going to want a fair amount of silica, which is in this storage container here. The irony is we're probably going to take back a chunk of those steel beams that we've been making and shipping over here. Uh, let's 
and then we can have a look at encasing that factory and making it look nice. So, let's head back upstairs. But, if anyone knows where the factory cart is, can you let me know where I build it? Because I genuinely thought it was just going to be given to me. And now I can't find it anywhere in here. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. Okay, right. So, these are the bars we've been getting from the motor factory. And around the back here, these are the ones we've been shipping in. <laughs> you can see they're both just throwing everything in there. So, we'll grab a chunk of these. Okay, and then I'm also going to want the reinforced ones, which are here. Got a load more of these. Because we're going to want them for some tier 4 um, belts, should we need to move any stuff around. Because to be fair, I might upgrade a load of those tier 3 ones into tier 4s. Right, uh, the train is not here. So we will just... No, I didn't put a plus one. We would just throw our own train there. And head off. So I think I'm going to use the corrugated steel. Because I think that's going to be quite nice on the walls of a steel factory. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use on that one. Oh, and also thank you very, very much to everyone who has been dropping in the comments um, train guides really appreciated i've had quite a few different people give me sort of different uh youtubers to watch with sort of train guide introductions and how to do junctions and, and everything along those lines so i really appreciate that kind of feedback thank you very much to everyone that's been involved in that it's been really quite insightful and some really useful tips in there so i'm definitely going to be making use of a lot of that when we start expanding this train network more than just a single loop we've got because i do want to do it in the um I can't remember the exact the, the correct term for it, but basically the dual line for it. So we, we have two lines basically acting like a road running the spine of the map or going off in different directions. And then everywhere there'll be those junctions. So whenever you come up to it, you can go in any direction instead of the single loop. And when you join it, you have to continue going around in the same direction. Um, so I, I do want to do it that way, in the, the more advanced way. So thank you very much to everyone that's been, yeah, like I say, sending me those guides. I've been, have been watching them, um, and I am looking forward to getting to some of those more complex parts. Uh, it's definitely something I want to do. I did also have a comment that came through around how I've put the station on the end of the line at the moment, and it's not, it's basically not a junction. You don't leave the line to go through the station. You, you stay on the line, and it. But, and the point that was being made was that it does mean that if anyone's trying to turn around to double back, they have to wait for the station to do an unload. Um, which is absolutely true, and I com completely get that. The The thought I was having with it is that effectively the two stations I've got at the moment would be like a terminus. So the only ones going to those stations, or, or the only people needing to go that far on the line, would be the ones going to those stations. But again, completely understand the point that was being made there and I, I'll, I might look at putting some kind of bypass in so that it effectively can make a bigger loop and go around the station so that you don't have to wait but I'll um, yeah I'll have to wait and see on that and see what I want to do with it but here we are, we are back nice and safe, let's take down that locomotive so it doesn't cause a crash with the other one when it comes back Yeah, we have got them ticking in slowly. Okay, so we were going to tier four lift. There we go. And we're going to tier four. 
No, not the pole. I don't care about the pole. I want the belt. Tier 4 belt this. There we go. That should speed. Speed it up. I mean, not that we need to speed it up, but... You know, may as well keep it going as quickly as we can. Right, okay, so we now want the customizer and we want you to be steel. I mean, hey, we may as well do those while we're there as well. Cool. And then we want to build walls and we want the fix it wall to be steel. And then we can fill these in. What I'm also planning on doing is putting them down into the ground like that to cover that concrete foundation. Harvest. Whoa. Okay, got caught with the auto. Uh, so save there. Right, that's that done. Now this was one we are going to want to get into. So we're going to have to think about where we want to put the door. How we want to put the door. Right, okay. We're going to temporarily cut this belt, that belt, and we need a. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Steel wool here. No, not a foundation. It really is struggling with that today. Right. You're going in there. And then... Yep, you're happy to go straight in there. Cool. Excellent. So then it is just going straight in like that. those walls up there. Oh, no. I did not mean to put that one in the middle. Take out that wall. Okay. And then we might have to do a bit of rework on the wiring as well. But I mean, hey, well, I'm just going to have a crafty episode today where we're just going to make something look pretty. So, we've got a bit of space at the end here. I think, right, well, either way, that needs to be filled in. Not that you'll ever really see it. We're going to need a steel wall. We're going to need that. Then we're going to want the... Do, 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 do. Where are we? The catwalk stairs. Our good old friends, the catwalk stairs. So that gets us in. And then... Uh, yeah, these stairways are weird. It must snap to a foundation. Okay, so that gets us there. That is not a floor, because that's not going to then let me, you know, staircase up. Okay, so. We're going to want some catwalk stairs, because they do work quite nicely for what we do, what we want to do with them. Harvest. 
breakfast. Yeah. And then we want to do a T junction there. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable corner there. Get another set of stairs going up again. And then again we want to corner. Corner. Catwalk. Which then means that is the foundation we want to take out. Put a catwalk crossing there, which then gets us up onto the top. Lovely. Okay. Your contract legally compels you to then we can contract. put a half foundation. Like that. Comply. That's cool. Found a use for the half foundations. Okay. And we will then put some railing up. Railing, there we go. Lovely. I think that works quite nicely. Okay. Uh, right, and then we don't need the side door wall. We want the normal wall. And we can just encase this down. You know, in case anyone had any doubt, this is where we're making steel. Or, more accurately, steel beams. Particularly as I genuinely just want these for screws. I don't really want to use them for anything else. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. I'm really not. You keep talking. Right, hang on. Is there a sound setting, actually? Audio. No, no, I don't want to turn the dialogue. I don't want to turn the dialogue volume off because I want Ada to tell us when we've got our upgrades. Okay, this is looking a little bit bland at the moment. So, how about what do we have to work with with our walls? Ooh, concave ones. They're interesting. Uh, panel windows, all frames, hex frames. really like the hex frames, that's the bit with it. Right, okay, I think we then take all of those basic walls out. Replace all of those with a hex frame. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll do the same on that bar. I just really like the hex frames. I think they look really nice. Okay, take that out. We'll pop the hex frames in. Okay, that one we can take out. That one we have to leave in. Oh, no. Take those out. Grab that hex frame. Okay. Not an orange box for a change. It's, it's a grey box. Getting a bit of detail. Right, what shall we do with these bits here? I kind of wanted to do a painted beam going straight up, but it's not going to let me. Harvest. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Okay, well, let's go have a look. Okay, so they go on meters. So we've got 12 meters. So in theory, if we go up to 24, that should cover both floors. Okay. I mean, I want to change the color of it. Uh, how about we make that a nice... Yeah, how about we grab Swatch 15, because we're not using Swatch 15. How about we make that a nice... Deep blue. I don't want it to be this vibrant one up here. That's got a bit more purple. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that one. Right, Swatch 15. Okay, there we go. Right, how does that look? You know, I don't hate that against the edge there. Right. Are you going to hook onto the edge of that painted beam? Oh, come on, don't be like that. You're really going to make me do this, aren't you? Come on. Come on. They really don't want to hook onto each other, do they? Hmm. I kind of do... Yeah, I do. I just want to continue that. That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, what happens here? Grab that painted beam again. And I can't put it in the same spot because it's already there. Hmm, okay, well that's not doing what I want it to then. Ah, oh, unless... Uh, unless... What happens if I grab the painted beam, pop it there, but I go down? Okay. And then... That looks like it's poking out a little bit. No, it's not. It's perfect. So if I come and put the painted beam there again, and this time go up 12 meters. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That seems to do what I want it to. Okay, let's go and fill those in on the corners then. Whoop. Yep. Come on. There we go. That's down. And then we want to go up on this one. Oh, you're really going to make me take that wall out, aren't you? Relaying message. Hello, this is Patrol Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Oh, come on. Last one did it. Why won't you? What happens if I take out this foundation and put it back? Will you play ball then? 
Oh, come on. Right, if I take the walls off. Harvest. Are they trying to clip to the walls by accident? Okay, painted beams are being a pain. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Right, right. Okay, let's put the conveyor wall back. Okay. Harvest. Then we'll put that wall back and that wall back. And then take out those painted beams. Because yes, they look cool, but they are not behaving in the way I want them to. What else can I do with this wall? What else have we got? Uh, can be connected to beams, we've got beam support, beam connectors, painted beams, metal beams, pillars. Small metal pillar, concrete pillar. Yeah, you're not going to go in the middle there, are you? I think it is those painted beams, or painted and metal beams I need to use. How do these beam connectors work? Oh, okay. Okay. So if I put a beam connector there... Oh. That's better. Oh, that's much better. Okay, right. So that's what we need to put on the corners then. Okay. See, learning so much, never played with these beams before. Put you on the corner like that. And you on the corner like that. Okay, and then bring in the painted beam. Oh, come on, what are you doing? I need to grasp your underside. Why is it being awkward? Why is it being awkward? What's different? What did I do different with those three? Or those two? What did I do different with the first one? Mm. Take the beam out. Let's have a look. Nothing that I can see. And yet you'll happily connect to the bottom like that. Okay. Uh, can I get the bottom of this one? There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's try and put these then on the other ones and just maybe hook in and look down. Maybe I'm just not understanding how these work. Right, where are we? Painted beam, that's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, alright. And I don't mind having those connectors on the top of the floor because then it kind of gives you a bit of a point of, ah, oh, here's where the floor changes. There we go. And then a painted beam. And we go down. Okay. And then we were using that swatch. Okay. 
Okay, making it blue on the corners. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere right. Okay, let's just step back and have a look. Let's get up to the top of this dune. Yeah, I think that's looking a little bit different. I mean, it's still quite box-like. I think I need to do something with that. See what I can do to not make it quite so boxy. Um, but I think that's going to be what we're playing with next episode. So, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They help the channel grow. They help get this out in front of other people. So thank you very much to everyone that's doing that. And again, keep all the comments coming. I do appreciate all the feedback and the help I've had coming through with those. That's been very, very useful. Um, but other than that, I do hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day. And I will catch you all next time.